to a free icon series now last time unfortunately we didn't start particularly well we still haven't registered a win on ultimate team on our account and also we did get a little bit embarrassed i think 3-1 or maybe even 4-1 and 4-0 something like that either way it wasn't pretty but today we have identified a few things that are going to help us towards first of all getting our first win then obviously going on to the bigger and better things and eventually getting an icon in this series so let's get cracking oh hello we have a little uh, we have a little prize here so let's actually take this this. Okay, so we've got a reward for naming our club. That's what we did at the very end of the last episode, of the first episode, and that is actually a rare stadium which I will not reject in any way, shape, or form. The FI. WC Stadium. I don't actually know whose stadium that is, but we're going to make it active. It's probably a pretty big stadium. We've got a couple of little things that we can do here. Applying a fitness card to a player is one of them. Changing a formation is one of them, and a single player match is another one. Now, what I want to just ask you at the beginning of this particular video is, um, obviously, the new feature of Ultimate Team, that one of the biggest things that people have been really enjoying is uh, squad battles. So, I was thinking about doing this for this series, the squad battles, of course, but it does take quite a lot of grafting, quite a lot of games need to be played and as you know part of the rules is that every episode we only play three matches so I've left a little poll up in the top corner saying or asking you lot whether you would you know allow me to play the squad battle sort of off camera and sort of because you need to really grind it out so if you would be happy for me to do that in order for me to get some more coins some more rewards some more packs to open which will be really good for obviously the episodes then make sure you go and vote on that uh, poll I hope that people would want me to do that but we'll have to wait and see so that's that we're not going to touch that this particular episode so go and vote right now but what we do need to do is improve this team so let's have a look at our squad right now jug feeders fc they're still called for some reason i think that's just because oh and i've just completed just by going on the squads another reward let's quickly claim that take your position so let's claim this reward right now we got 150 coins which does not go amiss at all so we've taken that um i don't actually know how many so i've got 19,000 up in the top right there on the ea catalog which will allow me to do a few things so um i was just going to firstly go and look at the squad so let's have a look right now what we're dealing with so as you know, we've gone for a sort of BPL, sort of English chemistry route in this team. We got Jan Matt last time. We also got Johnny Evans at centre-back. And we got Rodriguez on the left of midfield with Wright Phillips and Abraham up front doing a few bits for us. I haven't scored yet, though. Or oh, Tammy Abraham scored one, I beg your pardon. But no one else has scored for us yet. This team, I think it's fair to say, needs a bit of improving. We definitely need a goalkeeper. Probably a left-back sooner rather than later. And another central midfielder. But we do have Pogba who we can put straight back in there. And I think we also will need a right mid and a striker. So let's have a look at the lone players we can get on the catalogue to start us with uh, with a bit, you know, help us out a little bit in this regard. Actually, I've just noticed that because we're only a low level, as this is my second account, as I've said before, we can't actually afford to buy any of the lone players at all because we're just simply not a high enough level. Lacazette would be nice, but you have to be level 30. So maybe that's something that we can look into down the line. But for now, surprisingly, we can't do anything apart from this 200 coin 15 games boost which is going to be very helpful and we are going to redeem that for now so what i'm going to do now is improve this team with the 3,000 coins that we've got in certain positions that we really are desperately needing some gold players and some improvements now the other thing that i was going to mention was that i've set myself a mini objective i've had a look at you know some of the cheaper icons that we want to firstly achieve this objective with and how, how much they're going for on the market and i think like the 85 of rio ferdinand's those sort of lower rated icons are work going for about you know three to four hundred thousand coins so i think my first port of call is going to be to get the team to an acceptable standard where we can compete in the sort of lower five divisions then we will do everything in our power whether that's squad challenges whatever it may be to get ourselves to a hundred thousand coins once we're at a hundred thousand coins we're going to leave that there and we're not going to go below it because i think that that's a nice benchmark to aim for so that's the plan for this episode and for the next few episodes and for the future so a very good option for the right midfield position where we are struggling a little bit is going to be Matt Phillips 87 pace 71 shooting 69 passing not the best 77 dribbling and 71 physical so he's quite a strong player and I don't know how tall he is six foot so he might be able to win a few headers from goal kicks and whatnot we can pick him up for 700 coins so we're going to do that and that immediately improves us chemistry wise and rating wise and gives us a different option to that 69 pace uh, right midfielder from Spain that we've got going at the moment and now another position that we desperately needed to strengthen is our keeper so that we can get some chemistry going there with the Premier League 
boys, you know, that we've already got. So Matthew Ryan is going to be an option. Look at this. He's only going for 700 coins. You can pick him up for pretty much the minimum bin. And he's got 90 kicking and pretty much 17 all of the other relevant stats for goalkeepers. So that's really good. A real bargain if you ask me, but he must be quite a common card. But we don't mind that at all. We might actually bid 650 to try and be absolute cheapskates here. And there you go. It's expired. We've got Ryan. And that is a way, boys and girls, to save you 50 coins if you really need 50 coins saving. And here we go. Another little player that I'm going to treat myself to is a Danny Ings card. Now, he is a pretty decent card to pick up at 77 rated, rare, 83 pace, and very, very cheap indeed. English fits in with the chemistry that we've got going. And that is another purchase. I think the final purchase before we play our first game of this episode as well. And just like that, our team is already looking a lot, lot, lot more solid. We're already up to a 77 rated and 100 chemistry with just a couple of little really simple purchases. Maybe I should have done that from the get-go and I probably had a little pool of coins that I could have spent a little bit of money on some players with. But we do have a pretty solid squad and I also forgot about the lone Robin who actually does have a nationality link with Yan Mat down there which means that his chemistry is up to only 7 so not, you know, 10 or anything like that. But we can use him and I do want to get out of the 4-4-2 sooner rather than later. But we're going to give it a go. I think we can pick up a couple of wins with it. So let's get straight into our first game of this episode and see if we can pick up our first win of the entire series on FIFA 18. Okay, so our opponent's team is looking pretty good. He's at an 80 rating. He's got Henderson. He's got players like Zaha. I think that's a Gray up front, is it? Oh, no, it's not. It's actually King. It's the who, who plays for Bournemouth. Callum Wilson, that's it. Lanzini, Wanyama, Son, and a couple of other pretty solid players. I think they had a little bit of Serie A going on there. It looks like a pretty solid squad that we're going up against again. And this kick clash is not ideal to be honest but let's see if we can uh, if we can muster something up here oh and he's away with Hyung Min Son who is absolutely rapid and he's probably going to get a, a shot off he is but a new sign in Matthew Ryan makes his first save for the club and it was a decent one Johnny Evans spreads it out to Jan Matt Jan Matt's going to try and find an outside of the foot pass he does find Robin it's that Dutch link all over again you know what Robin likes to do he cuts in on his left foot and then he shoots but he gets dispossessed at the last moment and that was that was close oh he's got one over good defending oh I can't defend on this game I really can't and he's already got one nil up I am so dreadful at this game I swear to god I cannot tackle on this game once the player is sort of attacking my defense I just cannot seem to get the ball off him in, in any way and I've even watched a defensive tutorial but we're going to get serious now we're going to stick the headphones on because I want to hear what's going on Hyung Min Son he's going to get a ball in is he he's going to actually do the overpowered skill which is still equally as overpowered as it once was he's going to get the goal is he oh he's skied it got the rebound these kits are causing me a bit of an issue but also just the fact that I can't defend is causing me a bit of an issue as well oh and that's straight through how can I defend so how can I defend that? I literally, that was undefendable. He's just pressed the button. The runs, the through ball runs that the, the, the sort of forward players make us are just so undefendable. And I am playing dreadfully, but I don't even know if it's my fault or if I just, I'm just not sure if I'm missing something here. Okay, Abraham gets the ball, lay it back to Danny Ings. Have a shot at Danny Ings. Oh, that wasn't so far away, but we should have got it on target. Nice little run from Danny Ings. He's overtaken his player and he should score here. He does, he's put it in the back of the net on his debut, Danny Ings the English centre forward out of favour at Liverpool due to injury but in the icon ultimate team he's in form mate and he scored on his debut lovely Barcelona kit I've got there by the way I, I think this might be the first time we've played with it but either way we've got ourselves back in the game it could have been you know the other way 3-0 and we would have been really out of it but that was a decent finish round the keeper from Danny Ings and we're loving life well maybe not loving life yet but we're going to be loving life if we can come back into this game Pogba inside to Will Hughes played very well in the first episode if you remember and Ings is going to be away here can he get another goal oh he's brought the keeper out decently oh he's in the bar go on Tammy Abraham oh Tammy Abraham gets the rebound it's a header and we've equalized 2-2 I've got a trophy also get your head in the game little roly-poly and we're equalizing Jay Rodriguez is going to cut inside what's he going to do oh he's taking it past one we're going to play advantage are we Danny Ings gets the ball into Tammy Abraham Tammy Abraham still got it Ings is in a good position that's going to be a goal oh Ings should have buried that this man has been so good getting in all the right positions but he couldn't bury that chance Oh, and I've lost the ball on the edge of the box. Oh, unbelievable. All the way through the middle. Oh, what a save from the new side, Matthew Ryan. I don't know how he keeps finding these, these spaces. 
It's undefendable, like I said. I really cannot do anything about it. But luckily, Ryan was there as the last man to the rescue. And the corner's away from, I think that was Will Hughes or perhaps even Robin, who's actually, oh, and almost snuffed it out for a counter-attack there. Abraham's one man over here. And what's the long shot saying? Tammy Abraham gets a nice shot off on target, but it wasn't enough to beat the keeper. And there's the half-time whistle. We've managed somehow to wriggle ourselves back into this game. Um, I think it's the defending on FIFA 18 is honestly so hard. Maybe it's because I'm trying to defend like I'm playing FIFA 17. But either way, we will try and win this game in the second half. Let's get Robin to take this. Let's full power it and see what we can do. Oh, it's a good corner. Oh, off the line. Tammy Abraham again. Someone get... Oh, the rebound wasn't there to... It was there to be won, but we didn't win it. Gibson's going to get the ball here out of position completely. He actually loses it. Keeps it, actually. Rodriguez, lovely ball to Will Hughes. Can he score? Someone get a rebound? Come on. Oh, my God. It's gone wide. We're going to get Robin to do the same thing again. Full power right in there. Not a bad one. Oh, and it comes out to Chambers. He's going to have a long shot. Oh, and it's held by the keeper. And he's got a corner. Plays it short to Zaha. And that is a decent goal. Oh, just a really simple whippage in. And I really should have taken one of my chances because now I've come to uh, regret not doing so with that near post header. Oh, that's a lovely run from Tammy Abraham. Can Danny Ings get in there? He's actually going to lay it back to Pogba. Pogba, shoot. Come on, someone on the rebound. And we have immediately equalised through. I didn't even see who put that in eventually. We're going to do the little roly-poly. And who was it? Was it Rodriguez on his, for his first goal? And it was Rodriguez. I just saw the name on the back of his shirt. And we have equalised immediately from that unfortunate near post header that we just conceded. And we're back in it again. Now, the quick sub is telling me to take Rodriguez, who just scored off of Phillips. I'm going to do so just because he looks absolutely knackered. And he has played two decent games for me, uh, Rodriguez. He scored. And now it's time for Phillips to make an impact on his debut. Oh, no. And that's going to cause a mistake is it oh it's a great save from ryan puts it in a bit of a dangerous area though but now Popper can come away with it and tammy abraham if he can make a run for me does back to danny ings out to matt phillips what's he gonna do keeps the ball not bad matt phillips on his debut long shot oh it's a great finish from matt phillips and yes he can come up with the answer on his debut from the bench impact sub like as in on his debut what a finish that was i think the first long shot i've scored on fifa 18 as well if you consider that a long shot it was quite a little way out and what a finish that was just came inside there took it past all the players that were in his way little touch inside to straighten himself up and what a banger with his right foot not sure what his stronger foot is in fact probably should have checked that out before the game but what a finish and we are actually winning and heading for our first win now and that's a pretty late goal to put us on top here robin just keep hold of it oh robin you've been poor for me to be honest robin hasn't had the best game but that is the final whistle but we have come out on top of this game for our first win in the series and that is going to put a lot of confidence into myself the player and of course the team as well i don't think morale is a thing anymore but you know well, let's pretend it is i think we just about deserved it for the sort of character we showed sorry i'm brendan rogers but the character we showed to come back into that game some lovely goals that we scored and uh, the defensive part i really need to get used to of this game but it was a very very good attacking display from the boys danny ings gets mad in the match he scored a goal and did he get assist he got an assist as well only two assists in our entire team Rodriguez with the other also a 9.3 rating for him everyone played pretty well it was Robin who was our worst player along with the keeper who I thought played pretty well I'm liking the team that we're building here and we've got another award here becoming seasoned oh it's actually part of the daily objectives becoming seasoned we'll claim that and we've got 350 coins so with that along with the match coins that we just got for winning that game along with the boost of coins that we're getting in each game we can probably make a new sign in and I think looking at this team here I'm gonna have to invest in a left back I don't mind this Gibson guy he's been consistent he's also untradeable and he's got 42 contracts for us with uh, you know PL chemistry but we do need someone a little bit better than a bronze so let's have a look at what Premier League left backs we are able to choose from and to be honest I'm liking the look of Ben Davis who we can't quite snipe I don't think here we have got him for 450 coins uh, I didn't actually look at this guy's contracts he's got seven it's a brand new card pretty happy with that purchase we've still got a lot of coinage in the bank and we've got ourselves a decent gold rated left back so we've put Ben Davis straight in there obviously a few of these players that we've bought off the transfer market need a few more games to get the loyalty bonus but the team is shaping up very nicely and let's see if we can uh, build on that win that we just got and win our second match of the episode let's see what he's saying another 80 rated Premier League not completely 
completely Premier League, but mostly Premier League team. Upstairs, he's got, uh, I think that's Fernando Torres and maybe Aspas or something like that. He's got Fabregas, who looks dangerous. He's also got, I think, Ndidi and a pretty decent back line as well. So, again, we're going to have to be on our A game here to win this game. Luke Shaw plays a little ball up to Perez. I don't know if this is Iose Perez or Lucas Perez. Oh, and the deflection took it straight to his attacker. The most idealistic touch off of my defender for him and Torres is in there poaching. How unfortunate are these goals that I'm conceding early on in these games? Oh, it's a lovely little ball to Pogba. Can we get on the break here? We can. We've taken it past one sliding tackle. He doesn't know where I'm going. I've gone pretty much straight and it's fooled him. And it's a great run from Tammy Abraham who should score this. Does so. Oh, I thought he did, but he's actually put it wide. First time finish from Tammy Abraham just goes wide and he should have done better there, really. Tammy Abraham does win it back, though. He's going to get a second chance, is he? He is, and it's going to be his left foot this time. He misses again. Oh, and Tammy Abraham has not got his shooting boots on today. Tammy Abraham's going to poke this one forward. It's Danny Ings with a right foot shot. What a save from the keeper. Thought I'd been tackled. I think it was Jaggy Elka who missed the tackle there. And Joe Hart pulled off a spectacular save, but we have got a corner. Yanmat puts it in. I don't know why we have got our head to it, but it rolls wide of the goal and it's still 1-0 to the HHA. Oh, he's got acres of space. What a ball that is as well from uh, Tammy Abraham. And if I can cut inside here, that's a penalty all day long. Oh, he hasn't even given the penalty. We've still got the ball though. We've got to concentrate. Pogba takes it past his man. He's going to have a shot as well, Pogba. Thought that was top bins. Goes over. And that should have been level. I thought it was a penalty initially. Oh, and he's got miles of space. Oh, and Yen Matt, I've tried to control him. Oh, it's a great little tackle from Johnny Evans. Can he get the second one? Yes, he can. What composed defending from Johnny Evans? And I tell you what, Man City have missed out on a geezer, I tell you, because he need, he has pretty much been our star player defensively for this entire series. I know we're only three games in, but we do have it with Will Hughes. Going to find a ball to Danny Ings. One more, Danny Ings, get the goal. Oh, my God, how am I not scoring here? Pogba inside to am Robin on his left foot. That's a good finesse. Oh, it goes wide. Can't get anything on target. Oh, it's a decent ball. Oh, it's nearly an own goal, and he's going to get the rebound. Oh, deary me. How have I gone 2-0 down? I should have scored about five times. Come on, Pogba. Oh, that's going to be a goal, is it? Oh, we have pulled one back immediately. I think it was Rodriguez there. Another little roll, and that cancels out the sort of silly goal that we just conceded, but we're still losing. Torres with a chip ball over to Jesse Lingard. He's been pretty dangerous. That's a good ball as well, and it's gone in. Poor, poor, poor defending. Uh, or goalkeeping, I should say, from Ryan. But it's Lucas Perez in the middle who gets the goal. And it's 3-1 just on the stroke of half-time. That is a bit of a kick in the nuts. The half-time whistle blows and it is 3-1 to the opposition. I should have scored. Look at this. He scored all three of the chances that he's had. And I've had 12 chances with five on target. And yet he's 3-1 up. And FIFA just constantly dishes out games like this when the keeper or the defence just cannot do a thing to stop his goals. I feel confident that we can score again. It's just whether we can score three more times and not concede. Rodriguez inside to Tammy Abraham, turns his man, turns another one, that's got to be a goal. Oh, it was a decent little turn in the box, but the finish wasn't quite there. Can we get it? Can we get it though? Oh, we can't. Rodriguez on the edge of the box, can you get another one? Oh, it's a great save. How many shots do I need to score a bloody goal here? And I'm going to do the quick substitution again. Oh no, it's brought Dempsey on. I did not mean to do that. I've apparently got a trophy, my only hope. Don't know what that is, but we're going to get Dempsey off for Phillips. So we've brought Jay Rodriguez off for Dempsey and then Dempsey straight off. What a stupid, um, pointless thing for uh, Matt Phillips, who brought us back into the game last time. Oh, I didn't mean to take this corner with Jan Matt, and it wasn't very good either. Sammy Abraham gets the ball here. He's played well apart from his finishing today, Abraham. And he's going to find Robin, is he? Yes, he is. And it's going to be surely a cross back to Abraham, who can shoot. And he hasn't scored yet again. How many chances do I need here? And if we can just put the ball in the bloody back of the net. One over. Not bad. Come on, score this. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. How is this not going in for me? Literally, how is this happening? Oh, what? 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 He literally just passed through about eight of my players and it goes in 4-1. That is an absolutely hideous reflection of this game. I have deserved to... It should be the other way around. It literally should. Danny Ings finds Tammy Abraham. Is he going to roll? He is. He's done that about four times this game, Abraham. And the shot again is just poor. How do I score? Please someone tell me. Oh, and it's Callum Chambers who's definitely not going to score, is he? Oh, he actually is. 
Callum Chambers of all people scores a pretty decent goal and we've got eight minutes maybe left to pull a draw if we're very very lucky back from Robin oh and just as we might have pulled back a third goal the full-time whistle goes and that is an absolutely unfair reflection of the match that scoreline 4-2 I think he scored every single one of the shots he had Danny has got a nine for me if his keeper didn't get man of the match then oh my god Hart only got an 8.2 that is ridiculous. Who got man of the match then? Tammy Abraham got man of the match for me. I mean, he was very, very good. 25 shots, 13 on target. And he scores with all four of his shots on target. That is disgusting. So before I forget, I had noticed that Jan Matt for a starter was taking corners, which we do not want. Uh, let's go to squad actions, player roles and corners. We do not want for Jan Matt to be taking them. We want Robin to be taking them, definitely. So let's put him on both corners. And for everything else, I think we're fine. And I don't think we need to buy any more players this episode. Maybe we might buy one, I'll see. But for now, I think that team put in a great performance and just couldn't convert. Maybe it's another striker I need to invest in, although Abraham had a great game. And actually, tell a lie, we are going to make another sign-in. I'm a big fan of Krachervyak, and he is surprisingly affordable. Now, of course, a Premier League player playing for West Brom, and we can pick him up for 800 coins, so I am going to do that. For rotation purposes, I think that's a pretty good investment, and that is going to be the final transfer that I make this particular episode. And let's get into our next game. And here we go. We are up against Nantes ACDC, who has a pretty similar team to mine. He's got a on loan Matic and then pretty much a completely non-rare gold team apart from Batshuayi and Christian Atsu on the right and up front there but he's got Xhaka who I didn't actually realise was a non-rare card this year but a decent team krachoviak has got the ball now can he find Tammy Abraham oh and Abraham's actually got through here can he cut inside Abraham he's going to give the ball back to Krachoviak oh and he's just got down quick enough to keep her. It cannot be another game where I can't put the ball in the net, surely. Robin naturally takes the corner, which is good to see. Abraham in the middle, and the keeper's down again. Are we going to get the ball back to Robin? We are. And then back to Krachoviak. Oh, and then what has he done with it? He's completely given it away, Krachoviak, on his debut. Robin's going to come away with it here. He's a lot faster than Xhaka. He's a lot faster than Cook, and he's got gas in the tank early on in the game. If he's got a right foot, he might be able to pick someone out. He has not got a right foot. Oh, yeah, Robin. Despite his 88 rating, he cannot use his right foot. It's going to be Batshuayi. Takes a touch inside. Oh, and I've got in my own way. The defending is so hard. And every time I always go 1-0 down. It's Mishi Batshuayi with a decent finesse shot. But I got in my own way. The two defenders got in each other's way as I was trying to jockey. And it cost us a bit of space. And obviously Batshuayi punished us. What are you doing? What is the AI defense doing? Literally, what are they up to? Oh, lucky that we haven't conceded there. He just took a massive step forward for no apparent reason. No. Well, that was so weak. Keep the ball there, man. Oh, my God. Literally, how have I conceded there? All these goals are just unacceptable. Oh, oh that's surely a penalty ref. Did you see that? He tried to do a little cheeky finish. And there's a the halftime whistle of the final game of the episode. Now, I have been a little bit worse than I was in the last game this time, but I still should be, you know, within touching distance. As you can see, I've had two shots. He's had six. So he has been a little bit better than me, but I still shouldn't be two goals down, in my opinion. Should have at least scored one goal. And let's hope I can come back and have a bit of a better performance in the second half. We are going to make a little change just to see if we can change anything here. We're going to bring Abraham off for Fatai. Actually, do you know what? No, we're going to bring Ings off for Fatai and we're also going to take Robin off for actually no Robin can come up with something special so we're just going to leave it like that for now and see if that can help us get two goals in this last sort of 15 minutes of the game Chambers. shoot Chambers another one for Chambers what a goal from nowhere and what is Callum Chambers shooting stat on this because it seems like it's about 90 bloody nine well played Johnny Evans can he find someone yes he can he's actually found Matt Phillips and Robin's gonna find oh it's actually Fatai who's got decent pace and he's fresh Fatai into the box cut inside Fatai's gonna score surely if he doesn't yes he does it's 83 minutes played it's 2-2 and the substitutions have worked and what is that what's he up to then because that is a lovely little dance and I wish I could do it myself but I can't and Fatai Fate gets his first goal for the team and it's 2-2 with still time in the match for us to get the winner. Go on Fate, make a run because your pace is going to win the game but the final whistle goes. We did manage to salvage something from the match. Unfortunately it wasn't a victory but we came back in the end to level the 
the scores at 2-2. And that is a win, a draw, and a loss, I believe, in this episode. And uh, pretty decent, if you ask me, considering how badly we started. But we do want more in the future. We want to be winning more games, especially in the division that I'm in. But, you know, a lot of players these days, they do make new accounts and they stay around in Division 10 for whatever reason. So I'm not going to kick myself too much. But... It wasn't a bad result. Robin apparently got man of the match. I think, yeah, he got an assist, as did Tammy Abraham. I thought Abraham, again, was really good. Fatai obviously made the real difference when he came off the bench. Phillips was okay. Krichoviak pre played pretty good on his debut, and that goal from Chambers changed the game, really. So we have a lot to thank Chambers for that game. 637 coins that we get, and if we advance, we can see that we've got four points with five games remaining. So if we can get just maybe three more wins, I believe, that would put us in the uh, in the promotion spot. And we've got five games to do so to get out of Division 10. So next time, hopefully, we can get three consecutive wins and we can get ourselves promoted to Division 9. So we've pretty much got a full Premier League squad at this point. I know Robin and I know Pogba are gonna expire in three and four games respectively, but we do have Matt Phillips down here and we also obviously have Will Hughes, who's been pretty good for us. But we do need a little bit of depth. We need options. So make sure you leave in the comments below if there's anyone for sort of two grand and less that you think I should buy. It could be a few players for that much money or it could be one player that I'm going to splash out on a little bit. So make sure you leave that in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. And in terms of getting an icon, we're a little bit far away, but I hope we can do it very, very soon. And other than that, make sure you subscribe if you are enjoying the series. If you're liking the videos, there's lots more content on the channel. And I'll see you next time. And sweet. Boom.